Yu-Gi-Oh! 101 card review, hit a review a card coming, <clears throat> that, that, that has been released, excuse me, in the, the next challengers, or, or the new challengers, um, July 19th, what we're looking at here is Phantom Spring of Dragon Souls, what we'll look, it's a continuous trap card, <clears throat> description, activate this card by targeting one monster in your graveyard, special summon that target, special summon that target in face-up defense position, it becomes worm type. When this card leaves the field, destroy that target. When that target leaves the field, destroy this card. So, this is pretty much, I mean, like, as the name implies, you know, it pretty much would be better if you use this amongst dragons than anything. <clears throat> the reason why I say that because they're starting to make cards right now where dragon type monsters can be tributed and then you can special summon a worm type monster from your deck so they're, they're kinda making that transition into making cards that where dragon types can turn into worm type monsters so it's following that trend that at already so being that it's called spring of of dragon souls I mean obviously you know like dragons turn into worm type monsters uh, Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much probably would be better if, if you use this with a dragon type more than anything. But obviously, it's, it, it can be used in any deck. Now, even though I think that, <clears throat> that this could probably work better with dragons, I'm kind of saying that with the foresight that dragons are pretty much going to use this more than anything else in the future... Because like I said, they are making cards that where dragons can turn into worm-type monsters. So it, it wouldn't be too far out to, you know what I'm saying, like to think that this would be used with, with more dragon-type builds in the future. But for now, there's a couple cards. Like you can use cards like Marshmallow. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, like just for the simple fact that Marshmallow can't be destroyed by battle. And then you can benefit from it being like a worm-type and you can use it for synchro summons. You know, that that's a pretty good target for it. Uh, I would say that you could use this, uh, pretty much with the, the, um, the, uh, <clears throat> the, uh, the super heavyweight samurai archetype. Considering that this card special summons them in face-up defense position. And that archetype pretty much specializes. Like their whole motif is to be used while in defense position. So this would actually work towards their uh, strategy. <clears throat> and on top of that, in, in many ways, this can actually be looked at as a safer alternative to cards such as, you know... Uh, um, call it a haunting. When I mean, call it a haunting, special summons a monster and face up attack position, which can, which could put you in a position where you, to where you you, you could lose life points. Um, you know you're able to special summon this, the monster from, uh, you you'll be able to special summon the monster by the effect of this card and face up defense position, even though it becomes a worm type, but still, you know it'll be in face up defense position. So this can be looked at as an alternative. An alternate card to use other than um, uh, uh, call it a haunted. <clears throat> well, I mean, but but yeah, um, it's kind of good that they release something like this. You know, with the worms just now beginning to make their mark in in Yu-Gi-Oh. Not to mention that I was kind of hoping that they had a card that kind of did this. You know, yeah. So, so it's cool. It's cool. So link to this card is going to be in the description. You guys can check it out, and I'll see you for the next card review. Peace.